Some critics call me maverick, anarchic, challenging, indomitable, uncompromising, funny, vulnerable, and I'm all of those things, which I, is fine by me, but I call myself Liz Agis, all one word, lowercase. Did you come with high expectations? Or is the bar too low? How low can I go? Do I please you? Or do I please myself? I studied with Hilda Holger and Hania Holm, who are both from the expressionistic dance tradition, the expressive, an expressive era of, um, which is kind of a European world, and um, is, sli is slightly, um, a, a, as a past history is kind of dying in some ways, so I'm there to keep it alive. Fuck it. I'm 60. I'm going to do what I damn well please. When I was looking to make this piece of work, what really interested me was to actually um, look back at my own history and where I've come from. I grew up in a very bleak post-war suburb of London in very austere times where children were seen and not heard and um, usually the answer to any question was no you can't and um, my whole world was framed when I grew up by the things that are not in you know that don't exist anymore now even though it's only 60 years things have moved on so fast and I was very interested to capture the essence of all of that for the English Channel. I went to a party and I danced all night. I drank 16 jeans and I got into a fight. Now I'm jaded and you're out of luck. Cos I'm sliding down the road too drunk to fuck. I think what I'm doing is recovering bodies from libraries. What interests me is actually to look at the, uh, the work that cannot be seen anymore and that is only referenced by sh maybe tiny photographs or um, contextual information or critical reviews of some sort, sometimes very tiny clips of early films. So, and because I trained in all of that tradition, I'm interested in how you might actually bring that alive to a contemporary stage and a contemporary world. So that's why I say I recover bodies from libraries. She will sing for us now. <laughs> I'm very interested in the grotesque dance tradition as well. Uh, Valeska Gert, incredible artist, and all those interwar artists who are sort of slightly lost and whose work might get forgotten. So that's an era that really interests me. Shall I insert a large move? Slot it in a certain way. Twist a little harder, a little deeper. Would you like that? Or shall I just do this? I'm also interested in, um, you know, bringing forward in the English Channel, that whole idea of being a 60-year-old woman and what that actually means to undo all those stereotypes. Um, and again, I ask questions of the audience. Um, I ask the question, do I please you? Which is a kind of sexual question. I'm asking directly, am I pleasing you sexually? But then I turn it on its head and I say, you know, do I please myself? And so I'm I'm using the English Channel as a way to um, upend lots of ideas around being a mature solo female artist and bring that feminist politic to the forefront alongside wrapping it in this um, desire to keep a history that could end up on the slag heap of the past somehow but keep it alive and present for, you know, for another generation.